What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another MLB 22 The Show Diamond Dynasty video. The brand new program is here, Sizzling Summer. It's a 18 day program that features a ton of free diamonds, packs, stubs, you name it. We're going to cover it all in this video. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure to go ahead and help me out. Go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel. Helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here because you're searching on YouTube for Diamond Dynasty content, whether it's how to get free diamonds, how to get free packs, how to make stubs, you found the right channel for everything. Stay a while. Click that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on so you guys are alerted. When we drop additional videos, a lot to go over, so let's get right on into it. Here it is, the Sizzling Summer Program. It's 18 days long, and it's going to feature four Takashi Art Boss Legends. You're going to be able to get two of them, plus a lot of other free content. So here we go, Sizzling Summer Program. Let's take a look at it. So we have the normal reward grid here. Let's scroll all the way to the right before we look at the rewards and see how far we can go with XP. And it's looking like 750,000 XP is gonna be the end game. Now you don't need to get to that level to get the best content from this program. We're gonna show you what you do wanna get to and strive for. Double XP is over from the previous program, so we're kind of starting all over. So we have flashbacks and legend packs, and you're going to be able to get a couple of these throughout the program. They're going to come at 10 and 25K, as you can see here, XP, and the this one is going to feature, it looks like gold cards. So this is actually an older pack that contains older cards, but if there's any breakouts, all-stars, veterans, any specific series cards that you need for the George Brett collection, this is always a great time to get those types of cards. The one that you're going to get at 10, 10,000 XP is going to feature diamonds. So I believe what they said on the press, press the button stream is that you're going to be able to earn this pack three different times. There's five of them. So you're only going to get three out of the five, but it features Billy Williams. We got Delson Lamette, DJ LeMahieu, Rocky's Legend. We have Harmon Kilbrew and Seth Lugo. So you get three out of these five diamonds, 90 overalls. If you want to see the attributes on them, Hit the pack by hitting triangle or Y on Xbox. That opens it up. And then you press that same button one more time. That's going to pull up the attributes. I'm not going to break them down, but I will quickly flash them all on your screen. If you if, if it goes away too fast, pause the video. While you pause it, click that thumbs up while you're there. And you can see the attributes on all of them. Okay, so there's another pack, the Classics Pack. I believe there are five players within this pack. And you're going to be able to get this pack three times or up to three times. So you're going to get three out of the five of these. We have Joe Adele here. We have Jesus Lazardo, Gio Yershala. Yershala definitely kind of killed his name that first time there. Eloy Jimenez. I think I got that one right there. Left fielder for the White Sox. And then Bo Bichette, 90 overall diamond for the Blue Jays. So you get three out of these five. You're going to continue to earn these packs as you go. Here's the second time you get that diamond pack. Second time you get the classics throwback pack. Third time you get the flashbacks diamond pack and the third time you get the uh the, the classics pack so there are your three times now if we scroll further down here the sizzling summer bosses there's four of them and you're going to be able to get this pack two different times the first time around, uh, you're going to get one of these four players. So we got Stan the Man Musile from the Cardinals, legend here, looking like a good card. 107, 116 contact right left. Power right left is 92, 96. Vision is wonderful at 94. Only goal defense, 53 speed in the right field as primary position. With that speed, I wouldn't do it. He can play first base, left field, and center field. Again, I would keep him out of the outfield. A lot of you probably already have your very usable cards at first base, but this is a very good card. He was nasty last year, so I I'll be picking this one up. Uh, Raleigh Fingers is your second option here. Closing pitcher with 95 break, 90 velocity, hits per 9, 111, Ks per 9, 115, home runs per 9, 94. Looks like a good card, 93 control there as well. Uh, he can only hit up to about 95 on his four-seam fastball, though, so he's going to be more of a breaking pitch type thrower. We have Mike Piazza is the third one. Remember, he had that 88 overall card from the USA Conquest map earlier in the year. This card looks a lot better than that one did. Contact right left, 103, 108. Power right left, 101, 115. Vision at 84. Silver defense. He's catcher primary. First base secondary, 38 speed. He's not going to be fast, though. But even the defense isn't good. This is purely a, a hitting card here at the catcher position. I hope I didn't say center a moment ago. I meant catcher if I didn't say that before. And then the final card is going to be Honus Wagner. All of these 96 overalls. 
Card art looks excellent, by the way. Center fielder, look at those secondary positions. He literally can play everywhere. First, second, third, shortstop, left and right field. He literally plays everything but catcher. 99 steel, 99, or sorry, 92 speed. His hitting contact right left is 109, 106. Doesn't give you a lot of power though. Power numbers, 70, 65 right left. Vision at 101. I mean, if he gets on base, he's gonna be fast. He's going to get on base a lot because of those contact numbers. The vision is really, really good there. Despite him not hitting for power, I really, really like this card, and he's extremely versatile. If anything, you need this card on your bench for pinch hit situations. If he was a switch hitter, it'd be the ultimate card in the game, but this is a really, really good looking one. Off of like first glance, I'd probably go Wagner and, and stand the man. Raleigh Fingers and Piazza are good, but I think the cards on the end of the pack are not are the better ones. And you're going to be able to get both of those. So are two out of the four of those, I should say. Uh, you do get a cover athletes pack. This is big if you're chasing George Brett here. I'm a couple short on the, the uh, cover athletes collection, so this will help for sure. Now at 300,000 XP, you're going to get a 96 overall Fernando Venezuela. By the way, all of these cards we showed you, the flag flashbacks, the classics, the sizzling summer bosses, and even this Venezuela, all sellable on the marketplace card. So if you don't want any of them or you're short on stubs, you really need stubs. They're not going to go for a ton because everybody can earn them for free, but at the end of the day, you can sell them, and that's always a good thing. Uh, this card, you already know what it's about. The breaking pitches are crazy. 99 break, four seam fastball at 93, screwball, curveball, circle change, it's going to be the pain in the ass to face this card. Hits per 9, 102. Stamina, 119. Ks per 9, 108. Like I said, I, you don't even have to really read the attributes on this card. The pitches alone and the break alone are going to make this card a headache. And then at 325,000 PXP, sorry, not PXP, but regular XP, you get another one of these. So you get two out of the four. You can always buy the other ones because they are sellable if you want all four of them. Uh, there is an always intense pack at 340K, a Takashi Art Legends pack from those pre-order players at 360K. And then a bunch of random packs, always intense two pack at 500k is kind of a highlight there. And the rest of them are random. So how do you earn the XP to get all of these rewards? Simply play the game. You earn XP just by playing the game. There are additional tasks that you can complete that bump up your XP, give you bonus XP. You got your daily moments. You got featured program moments. They give you 1,500 XP each. You get to test out some of the players against the computer in very short situations. Uh, PXP mission. So every flash back every classic player they have a pxp mission and if you earn either 300 or 500 pxp with each player you're going to earn 3000 xp towards the reward grid so put these players in your lineup as you earn them we're going to show you the best game modes to play to earn pxp in a moment but this will give you a nice little boost in xp there are week one exchanges al west nl central nl west 5000 xp each I normally say wait on these. If you have a ton of cards in your binder, by all means, exchange them out. Just remember that you do lose these cards. I probably will because I hoard everything that I open up. Like, I never sell anything, so I have no problem dumping some, like, bronze and maybe even silver cards to get a little nice 15,000 XP head start on this program. There is a brand new conquest map. We'll show you that in a moment. March to October, you can play through as well to earn XP. You don't get any XP boost specifically, but playing through March to October earns you XP because you're playing the game. Now onto the conquest map. 30,000 XP to play through this one and complete it. And again, you want to be earning PXP with these flashbacks and legends and classic players. So one more time, as you earn them, put, in your, put them into your lineup and then go grind the conquest missions here or conquest map, I should say. Completing the map, 30,000 XP. You also have a ton. I think they said 16 packs are in here between the packs that they show us and the hidden packs, 16 different rewards full of packs. There's some cosmetics in there as well. But at the end of the day, most of you are completing this for the hidden packs and the 30,000 XP. So this is a great playground to you know basically use players, earn PXP by knocking out this map. And once you beat this map, you can always go jump into mini seasons, another great place to earn PXP in the mystery map. You can repeat this map over and over and over again. It usually takes about 30 to 35 minutes. 
In doing so, earns you five show packs. It's a repeatable mission, so you can unlimited, you know, do it every time, unlimited. You can earn this pack as many times as your little heart desires, and it's a great playground, like I said, to play with those flashbacks and legends and earn PXP if you don't want to jump online. Speaking of online, we do have a brand new event that's going to feature, it's kind of like the Sizzling Summer event, and it's going to feature some good reward cards, in my opinion here. So if we take a look at the rules, you can only play with NL West and AL West pitchers and then NL Central and NL East hitters. Maximum team overall is 93. You can use a uh, monthly award in Tops Now players. Monthly awards coming out this coming Wednesday. A uh, difficulty all star, maximum team 93 overall, three inning games, free entry from the rewards or for the rewards, I should say. Look pretty good. So at 10 wins, you get a diamond rewind pack. If you missed any event in the past, you can pick one of these cards that you might need, whether it's for the George Brett collection or just a card maybe you didn't get a chance to earn. Like, I definitely want this Yuri Perez. I didn't play last month's event or last week's event, I should say. So I'm going to go back and get that card for sure. At 12 wins, we have a Sig J. Buner. The good thing about this event is that it's featuring signature cards, which are, you know, they're limited. There's not a lot of them out there. More stuff to help you guys get the George Brett collection done. So Jay Buhner there, 95 overall diamond. Looks like a pretty solid card. Hitting defense, diamond hitting, diamond defense. Uh, contact, not the greatest against righties at this point in the year. Vision a little bit low, but it's a solid card. There's probably a lot of better options out there, but it's going to help you for George Brett. And then at 15 wins, you get a silver slugger, an awards winner, Carlos Santana which the first base position is certainly crowded, but a switch hitting bat is always in play for a lot of people. Diamond hitting, 79 contact against right, 111 against left, and then 97, 97 power right, left, 87 vision, very good. He's a first baseman, so you don't have to be too concerned about the defense. Really good card, nice bench bat as well. If you want to be an overachiever and continue to play this event after 15 wins, you get another diamond rewind pack here that features the same things. Always intense packs one and two are in there and a bunch of show packs and bundles and whatnot. So that is the event. I think we're going to finish out with the upcoming content schedule and the shop. So there are supposed to be some special pack offers coming starting at about 4 p.m. Eastern time. Right now in the game, though, we have set 27 headliners. It's going to feature this uh, Top's Finest throwback, Brandon Webb. This is, I believe, when he won the Cy Young Award. 96 overall diamond. Honestly, I mean, it looks cool, but it's not great. He can only hit like 94 on, on the fastballs there and the sinker, 93. He does have 99 breaks, so that'll be interesting to see how those breaking pitches go. Curveball, cutter. I mean, if he had like other than, I mean, the sinkers there too. If he had like a slurve ball or something, maybe that would be better. But we'll see how that curveball goes with the 99 breaks. Stamina is very good. Walks per nine, hits per nine, pretty good. Case per nine and home runs per nine, not great for a 96 overall card. So I'm not too excited. Excited about this one. I love the card art, of course. Brian Wilson had the same thing. Again, starting at 4 p.m., there will start to be special pack offers. They have like a remix Ballin' is a Habit pack that's going to be coming out as well. So I'm curious to see what that one looks like. And I think that covers all of the content that came out today. So we got the Sizzling Summer program. We went through that in detail. We're going to drop a video probably tomorrow morning going over the best players to pick from each of those choice packs. So if you guys need some help deciding on who, I'm mean, going to give you my quick thoughts, but we'll drop an official video. We saw the brand new event featuring 15 total wins uh, reward Carlos Santana. Brandon Webb's in the new set, set, set 27 headliners pack. And here is the content schedule. We went over everything today, 6.30. Now on 7.6, which is Wednesday, June monthly awards. So more Tops Now cards. You're going to be able to get that 96 overall Chris Sale. And whoever the Diamond Lightning flashback card is going to be for the month of June. All of that will be revealed on Wednesday along with a mini seasons limited time mission. Uh, a new showdown for XP and set 28 headliners featuring a future star 7-8, which is going to be Friday, a time-limited special event and showdown and conquest map. So I don't know how, you know, like it's going to be 24 hours, just the weekend, but I'm curious to see what they do there. Also, uh, more Tops Now content for the month of July, because we'll be into it eight days at that point. Uh, flashbacks, Nike City Connect program, earning you a flashback card. So a little bit of small content on that Friday, but we got a ton today, a ton on Wednesday, and then skipping all the way ahead to the 18th. All-Star break is coming up. If you played the game last year, the content was absolutely epic. This new program, Sizzling Summer, 
ends in 18 days just in time for the all-star program which is likely going to feature a card for every single all-star at least every single team we're going to have home run derby content all-star game content and then maybe even a program after that it was really good last year if they literally duplicate what they did last year with new players i would be very happy with that so got you all covered in this video more to come we'll drop stuff tomorrow as well i'll be on twitch tonight grinding out this program earning pxp with those new players and trying to get these packs unlocked thank you for watching this video my name is popular stranger i'm out peace